$485. Please don't not buy this serum. You don't need it. You really don't. No, it's a no. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing another skincare reaction. Yay! This time it's going to be model Marta Hunt. I really love her as a model. I think she's stunning. Her facial features are to die for. God. Mm. The girl can really dream. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's just jump right into it. I tend to have really dry skin, so my skincare routine is pretty simple. It's all about more hydration. But on days like today, when I have a full beat, I do a couple little extra steps. So today I'm gonna do a one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven step process. Okay, so starting with cleansing off the makeup. I like you. Right, I love that she already says she has dry skin and that I'm already thinking like polyg acid, AHAs, which is interesting because I don't really see a lot of people with dry skin. I see a lot of combo skin, oily skin. So it's really interesting to see like what she does on her skin. So yeah, let's see what she has up her sleeve. Using Bioderma solution because it's really gentle on my skin and doesn't strip away too many of the natural oils. And these are some really great silky little clay de peau cotton pads that I like to use. Okay, I'm rubbing really hard right now and I know that's bad for you, but that's just kind of how I take off my makeup. The first product she used here is Micellar Water. Micellar Water is actually great for her skin because it is not gonna dry out her skin. Since she does have dry skin, it's not gonna dry it out. It does not contain alcohol or surfactants that could be drying to her skin. Actually, if you look up Google, which Micellar Water is best for dry skin, it'll tell you that the Biodermal one is the best one for her skin, and which is what she's using. I honestly think they're all the same, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, let's keep watching. Now I'm going to use a cream cleanser. I've been using Luzerne for forever. It's my trusted go-to. They use really nice ingredients, and it just feels really soft and gentle on my skin. Like I said, I have dry skin, so cream cleansers are more ideal for me. And maybe once a week I'll use an exfoliator, but not too much. Oh my god, you would think I'd be better at this, but there's still mascara here. It's honestly the most satisfying feeling to wash your face. I don't know if it's because it's my job to be constantly wearing makeup, or if every woman probably feels this way, but I just love that feeling of just washing it all away. There she is in all of her glory. All right, so the second product she used here is her cleanser. I just looked up the cleanser. It doesn't really have much alcohol, which is great because she does have dry skin. You wanna stay away from products that have alcohol in them. It actually contains alcohol-free witch hazel, which as you guys know, witch hazel can be drying and can't strip your skin, but this is alcohol-free, so it's not gonna strip her skin. It'll actually help with fighting her pores. It does contain citral alcohol, but citral alcohol is a fatty acid alcohol, so it's more of an oil. It's not really an alcohol per se, but I just think that she shouldn't, you know, rely too much on that cleanser. Maybe one that doesn't have any alcohol at all would be great. Overall, it does contain a lot of oils, a lot of glycerin, humectants, and products that will nourish your skin, so I think this might actually be a good product for her skin. All right, moving on. Serum, I have to wear a serum. I just like the way it feels on my skin. Supposedly it makes all of the ingredients transfer better when you use moisturizer after. So there's some science there, but I just know that I like wearing a serum. I just like any extra layers of hydration I can put on this thin, dry skin. This one is called Revive. Just a disclaimer, I'm super lucky. I get so many products sent to me. So I'm basically human guinea pig. I like to warm them up with my hands. Kind of go on an upward solution. I do oftentimes try new products because I'm just very fortunate that so many are sent to me. Um, but if my skin starts reacting in a negative way, then I'll, I'll stop using that product. So this one I probably, this is a newer one for me. I've probably been using it for about a week and no issues yet. So I do pay attention to ingredients and products and I look them up before I ever use the product. But for me, I pay attention mostly to making sure that quality ingredients are being used. And sometimes the ingredients are confusing because they can be very scientific names or active ingredients, but um, usually there's enough science to back it up if it's a product that I'm going to use. I just looked it up. This serum does contain fragrance, you guys. 
you guys know how I feel about fragrance. It's just not my fave, but if you must, go for it. The serum, how much is the serum? Let's start from there first. $485, okay. Disclaimer, she did mention she does get sent a lot of stuff, so she probably didn't pay for this, but you guys, please don't not buy this serum. You don't need it. You really don't. No, you can't. if you really are on a budget, you don't need a serum. She does have dry skin, so she needs extra moisture, but bear in mind, it does have fragrance in it. I mean, for her, it has a lot of moisturizing benefits to it. It has 30 mile in it and just a lot of other moisturizing ingredients in there. But do you need to spend hundred dollars to get serum? No. Do you need serum for your skincare? Mm, probably not. You could probably get a really, a really good moisturizer. So it's a no. This is Clay de Poe Intensive Fortifying Emulsion. Pretty sure that just means night cream. I do like using really um, silky, soft products on my skin, but I am going to add this Georgia Louise oil. And it has a lot of beautiful soothing ingredients like lavender in it. And right now I kind of want to grease up my face because I'm going to use her little rose quartz stone to carve my face to help it feel more sculpted. I just looked up the price. This night cream is like $180. And again, she did get sent a lot of this stuff. So just take it with a grain of salt. Do you need to spend $180? Absolutely not. There's too many more night cream slash moisturizers that cost a lot less. However, it's free for her. So she doesn't really mind using it. But anyway, aside from the price, she said that she needs moisturizing creams and things that nourish her skin because of her dry skin. Her skin doesn't produce enough sebum. So she needs an extra layer of moisturization on there. With just from looking at the ingredients, this seems like a really good, great product. It has a lot of moisturizing benefits in there for her. She also mixes in an oil with her night cream. If you do have oily skin, this is not something that you should be doing because it will just produce more oil on your skin. If you do have dry skin, this is not a necessary step, but if you feel like your skin needs that additional just moisture in there, then by all means go for it. But yeah, I mean, her skin looks amazing, so this product's gotta be working. I've always been simple as more with skincare in general, so even using a rose quartz stone is kind of an upgrade for me, but I'm now getting more into gadgets just because I think it's fun to see if the science behind it works. I like to go along my jawline and contour it. And I also get a lot of tension on my jaw, so it feels good. To just kind of hold it there and massage it. I do think like face massages and sculpting and all that does make a difference over time if you continue to repeat the practice. And then I'll do some on my cheek. And I get so much sinus pressure that this really helps with lymphatic drainage and letting go of some of that sinus pressure. Like right here, ah, uh, that feels so good. The Butterfly was quartz gadget she just used is $65. And I know you guys are probably like, all right, enough with the complaining about the prices. But I mean, it's important to talk about price because I know for a fact some people that watch these videos are impressionable and might feel like they need to go spend that amount of money to get the more to hunt, you know, effect, which you really don't need to. You can definitely get away with getting a jade roller at Walmart or Amazon for like six bucks that will do the same exact thing. Love facial massages. I think they're great. They help just over time, like she said, just keep your skin really tight and um, keep it um, elastic. However, this is ultimately the job of the collagen production in your skin to do that. But obviously it doesn't hurt to use something that might be of an additional help. You don't need to spend $65 to get this product, but I do recommend getting some sort of uh, gadget or face massage product that you can use to help out with maintaining tightness in your skin. Eye cream. This is by Clay de Peau. And this is a nice sort of thick, luxurious eye cream. Sort of lightly tap it here. And then I'll put the excess on the fine lines on my forehead. If you watch my videos, you know I don't really care for night creams. I feel like it's honestly an overpriced moisturizer. If you have a really good moisturizer, I think it'll do the same exact thing. I think I watched a video where uh, I think Leah Hu, the founder of Crave Beauty, was in the video with uh, Mixed Makeup, Susan Yara. And she talked about how she worked in the industry and how eye cream is literally the same thing as a moisturizer. It's just, you know, made a lot thinner um, to appeal to the consumers as a different product, but it's really the same thing. So 
Honestly, I would not vouch for night cream, but again, she does get sent this product and I mean, it's pretty much a no brainer to just use free products, right? Why not? I mean, if you're getting it for free, I would use it too. So if you're out there thinking, should I get it or not? No, you don't need night cream. I've thought long and hard about if eye cream is real and I don't know. I think it's placebo. I do feel like it helps with the fine lines around my eyes. But I don't know if it's eye cream or if it's just because I moisturize. I don't know. Oh, I love how honest she is. She's like, I don't know if this is doing anything or if it's my moisturizer. <laughs> That's so hilarious to me. She's so humble. I love it. She's right. Eye creams don't do anything. They're overpriced moisturizers. You don't need it. You guys already know this. If you watched my video before. I am not a fan. Okay, lip mask. This is Laneige, Laneige, Laneige lip mask. So your lips look like a, like pouty French lips. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> what am I doing? I do love this lip mask and I like it because you can sleep with it on and it really plumps up your lips, but also you can put makeup over top of it and it stays. And that has been a tricky thing for me to figure out because usually lip gloss is like a little too greasy and then makeup slides over it. Whereas with this, it's so sticky that the makeup just sticks on top of it. I've really been into lip masks, so I definitely want to look into this lip mask. Plus it's super affordable, it's $20 in Sephora. Probably the most affordable thing on here, to be honest. Um, but yeah, lips are part of your skin, so it's important to take care of them. I definitely wasn't the one to pay attention to my lips before, but I'm definitely starting to now realize that it's important to take care of your lips as much as you take care of the rest of your body. So definitely want to try that, especially since she says she loves it. All right, so I'll do a little spritz of probiotics. And this helps restore the pH of your skin. Because we clean our skin and we often strip away a lot of the dirt and bacteria, this helps put back the good bacteria onto your skin, which also could be pseudoscience, but I think it's fun. Okay, so I guess you just use a toner. It's a probiotic spray. I've really never heard of that, so I don't want to speak too much on it, but I don't know about stripping your skin of healthy bacteria. I don't know if that's the right term to use. I know that you can strip your skin, you know, of the natural pH, which is 5.5. Toner helps to restore back that pH of 5.5 if your skin might be a little bit too acidic or a little bit more alkaline. I used to not care for toners. I think I've mentioned before that I don't care for toners, but I still stand by it not being an essential part to skincare if you're on a budget. But if you have a little bit more extra coins, I think that a toner is uh, can be important because sometimes you might not wash your skin off of all the makeup and you want to go over it again just to make sure everything's off. Um, a toner is great for that. Also, like I said, it helps you restore back your skin pH. But I don't know about good bacteria and bad bacteria. That's something I definitely have to look into, so I wouldn't speak too much on that. I think it's fun to experiment. All right, guys, so we're down to my final steps. So before bed, not every night, but a few nights a week, I'll have a magnesium drink because magnesium is good for your brain function and it also helps relax your muscles and it's good for bone health. I do take that very seriously. So I'll have my little magnesium berry flavored drink and I'll put on my glasses so grandma over here can get her beauty rest. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a thing or two or maybe you're learning with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys. I'm going night night. Bye. Wow, I really love this last point that she mentioned about magnesium because I was literally just listening to a podcast the other day and the doctor was saying how magnesium is an essential part to our diets and that's just interesting that she mentioned that about it being good for bone health, brain health and just all the other benefits. There's other benefits that I actually saw online which include anxiety, migraine headaches, uh, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes. You can also have anti-inflammatory benefits. You can also boost your exercise performance. I mean, it just seems like a really, really great substance to include in our diets and something that we shouldn't take for granted, um, especially with, you know, it helping with exercise and his cardiovascular performance. So yeah, overall, I think she has a great skincare routine that seems to be working out for her, for her dry skin. I think her skin looks amazing. Her bone structure just gets me every time. What do you guys think about the skincare routine? Do you guys like it? Do you guys love it? Is there something you guys thought was really cool, particularly in the skincare routine? Let me know down below in the comment section. Like this video if you like it, of course. And until next time, see you later. Bye.